We are so happy to welcome back George Fuller with Ruck and Run. You guys, that's happening on November 9th. So, George, for our viewers that maybe aren't familiar with Ruck and Run, what is it? So, Ruck and Run is an event that helps combat the over-commercialization of Veterans Day. And it also is a tangible way for our community to gather around a fire pit and to honor our veterans in an impactful way. And speaking of Veterans Day, when is Veterans Day this year? It's coming up. Ele veterans Day is always 11-11, never changes, but we do the event the Saturday around Veterans Day, so this year is November 9th. November 9th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If someone, I mean, you said it's, uh, it's a community event, right? It is, so yes. do people have to sign up? Can they just show up? Do they have to pay? Yeah, they can show up. It's a community event. We have free pumpkin pancakes, coffee, axe throwing, fire pit. Uh, the Cox helicopter is going to land out there. It's going to be a good event. Kind of think, think about Republic's um, Have a Blast or their uh, Pumpkin Days kind of festival. This is designed to honor veterans, mm -hmm. and it's a free event. Come on out. Unless you want to do the walk run event, you can walk with a backpack as a rucker, or you can run without a backpack, and that's your choice. Otherwise, just come out, and uh, it's a t like I said, it's a tangible way to honor veterans. Mm -hmm. What would happen if you ran with a backpack? I'd be very tired. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it, I guess the same question would be, what if you're running and you get tired and start walking? There you so, go. There I mean, you go. We're not, we're not, we're not going to trip people. And, of course yeah. not. So. You said uh, rucker. Yes. So what, what does that mean? So ruck, sack is a German version of backpack. So the military took it and turned it into a verb. So a ruck is a to walk with a backpack, and that's also called a ruck as a noun. That's a ruck. Mm -hmm. ah. And uh, so you put a backpack on. You don't have to put a backpack on. You can do it as for fun. You can do it as a competitor, a team, a solo. We've got three different distances. We have a free 0.9 mile distance if you want to just try it out. There's exercise stations along the route. And I designed Ruck and Run back in 2015 to be a small taste of what military training is all about. So we have drill sergeants that are out there yelling, I mean, uh, motivating you. Yeah, yelling. They're going <laughs> to do, do, yeah. do the knife hand, like, do your push-ups. It, but, it, but don't be over-intimidated. It's, it's really cool because we, we have mothers coming out with a baby on their back. And, uh -huh. and uh, it's, it's a really fun community event. How much does this weigh, and is this regulation, Ruck? I have no idea. Oh. Regulation, Ruck. Is this regulation? So just to give you an idea, a uh, couple Saturdays ago, I did a 31-mile Ruck. About 12 hours, 12 minutes. Yeah. Oh my god. And a gosh. couple veterans, yeah, it was fun. And so, there it is. Typically, like, what would you carry in the, the rucksack? Well, uh, you carry whatever you want. Um, if you want to put a pillow in there, you can. If you want to put some canned goods in there to donate to homeless veterans, we have a, a canned good collection point at our event. In fact, we've donated over 12,000 pounds of food to the kitchen, their program called Home at Last, yes. to help out local homeless veterans. So throw some canned goods in there if you want. Again, if you're walking, you're a rucker, you have a backpack on, the weight's up to you if you do it as a participant for fun, or you can do it as a runner and you won't have the backpack on. And you, you can again, you can do it for as a participant for fun or a competitor. And people get competitive. There's, there's a. Uh, I, I, Wait, people, veterans and military being competitive? I can't imagine. Yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was a team <laughs> out Friday night, and they were, they were doing. Um, they're trying to practice because there's an 11-11 distance. All the distances are kind of customized, but the 11-11, they're doing it as a team. And man, they were, they came in like five miles in like an hour or something like that. I was like, good grief. Oh. They, were, they were booking it. So yeah. Wow. And you mentioned the over commercialization of Veterans Day. Yes. So why is it important to, you know, stop over commercializing? Yeah. It? So Veterans Day is about veterans. The, the people that used to serve in the, in the uh, military, they used to wear the uniform. Armed Forces Day is about those that are still in uniform and still actively serving. And of course, Memorial Day is those, uh, Memorial Day honors those who have fallen in uniform. So if you came to me on Memorial Day and said, thank you for your service, I'm not going to get mad at you. But it is our patriotic duty, I believe, to understand those three differences. And Veterans Day is not about a sale. It's not about a mattress sale. It's not about whatever, mm -hmm. a discount. It's about veterans first. And then through that, we can honor our veterans and then be thankful for, hey, I'm thankful for a federal holiday or I'm thankful for an opportunity to get with my family on Memorial Day or whatever else it is. And it's through the, the gratitude that we should have as Americans. And we say, support our troops or thank you for your service. This is a tangible way to do that. Just show up. And you don't, again, you don't have to do the walk around portion. You can show up at the finish line and cheer people on. And yeah, come. yeah, That's for it. sure. And you're that. back in the Ozarks full time now. I am, yeah. So I moved back um, in June. So mm -hmm. it's fun. I've been out of the state for eight years, and by God's grace, Ruck and Run's grown, and it's been uh, productive and helping out veterans. But now I am local. I'm not doing it from a distance, and um, that way I'm here and, and meeting with veterans and encouraging them and doing a 31-mile Ruck. And wow. Like that. yes. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, next one's 24 hours. 
We're going to do time instead of distance. Oh, yeah, so you, you have to be moving the full 24 hours? No, I'll probably take a nap, but you guys can join me. <laughs> <Okay>. All right. <laughs> yes. Okay, so one more time Not for our moving. viewers, all the details of the Ruck and Run. Yeah, so ruckandrun.org, R-U-C-K-N-R-U-N.org. And um, it is November 9th. It's the 10th annual. So it's this is the 10th big one. Year. This is good. So come celebrate and uh, and honor veterans with us. It's a and free event. It? It's in Republic. Mm -hmm. It's at um, Meadowview Baptist Church. That's our base camp. They let us use the property. And we have a big military vehicle, big fire pit, pumpkin pancakes, coffee, axe throwing, helicopter. I mean, and the car show. I'm glad that I recognized that I almost forgot that one. So a car show. You can register your car for the car show. Uh, and we have all kinds of different things like a, a raffle, 50-50 um, drawing, silent auction. It's a, it's a big event to honor our veterans. And there's one thing that I love saying is that there was one time two Marines came together at the fire pit. They did not know that they were at the event together. They had been deployed to Afghanistan prior didn't even know, and they were there to honor the same Marine that was killed in action. Oh, wow. And they had custom shirts with the same person's name on it, yeah. and they met around the fire pit. It was, oh. I'm like, I'm getting chills. I'm getting yeah, goosebumps right awesome. now. Yeah, I'm like, that's the Oof. type of that's story. What that's what it's about. about. That's what it's all about. Guys, check it out. It's a community event for everybody, for everyone, and support the veterans. All right, coming up, we're heading to Bricks and Minifigs to crown a winner of the 2024 Springfield Lego Masters competition.